Hello. Welcome to my room. This is my room. This is what I'm doing today. I'm making a vlog. My first vlog. So I decided to start a vlog because I'm moving to a little small beach town and it's going to be it's going to be really, really boring. I have, I have like books and I have a bike, but the only bar in town is the one I'm going to be working at. So I don't want to be hanging out there all the time. I need some extra hobbies. So this is what I'm going to start doing. And so this first video <laughs> is going to be a video about stuff that people do that I think that they should stop doing. And it seems like an overwhelming percentage of people that do this is that I will get into a car with a guy, it's I, it's not exclusively men, but exclusively in my life it's been men, <laughs> is I get into a car with them, <clears throat> and it's like, it might be a car that looks like a spaceship, and I can understand you want to drive it fast and be really cool with it. They do this because I think they think it's impressive, but a lot of times it's not even a cool car, it's a pretty terrible car, you paid like 400 bucks for this, and it has a, it has a spray paint job on it, it's not great. But you get into it, and they start driving so fast. They start driving ridiculously fast. They're like getting on a highway, and they're like skidding the tires. And I'm sitting there in this side, you know, passenger seat, being like, oh, please don't crash, please don't crash. They're like driving down like really windy, you know, back roads, and I'm like, excuse me, you're driving 80, 80 miles an hour, and it is just, these roads are really windy, and you're skidding the tires, and it's terrifying me. And they always have a retort to it, because usually I'll say something, because I don't want to be in the car with these people. Like, hey man, you should slow down. And they always have a retort to it. They're always like, I drive this road to my house every day. Oh, I know these roads super well. You know, it's all about knowing your car, and they make it seem like something that you just like aren't in the loop on. Like, you just don't know your car this well, so you can't drive like this, but I can. Even if you're really good, at driving your car on those roads, you aren't in control of where deer cross the roads, or if somebody's little kid is on the road, or like if their cat is. Anything that could cause me physical and psychological trauma, you're not in control of that, and I don't want to be in the car with you while you're doing that. It doesn't make you look any cooler, it makes me terrified. So I have a right, as a person with a life in your car that I want to protect, I have a right to tell you to pull over so I can start like I'm in my way, you know, the other 25 miles home, because I can deal with, like, a possible escape psych ward patient that's smoking weed on the highway, driving really slow. I'd rather deal with them than deal with you <laughs> impressing me into the afterlife. <laughs> and so, beyond that, people that, you know, try to drive drunk, and they, and it's not even that they're drunk, you know, like, yay for drinks, good, good job for you. The kid doesn't need a driver or a taxi or even just walk home. Big deal. Because these people, and you see what you see them like all the time. I come from a college town. I don't know if this is your experience, but it's definitely mine. But like college town, and the one person's like, oh, I've had the least to drink of everybody here. And I'm like, totally fine. And I can walk and I can talk and they touch their nose in front of you. That doesn't prove a thing to me. That, that looks really silly. That you're thinking that that's going to prove that you're sober to me. Because it doesn't. And... You know, I understand that you probably can drive right now, but I do. I can do a lot of things that I don't do on a regular basis. Wear gold chains. Listen to Justin Bieber albums. I can walk on the top of a railing, but it doesn't mean I'm going to put a two by four up on like eight stories up on, between two buildings because I probably I could walk that. I could walk it, and I would get to the other side and be totally fine. There are things you don't do because things could go wrong. They're out of your control. A gust of wind or a bird hits you or something and you fall to your death. But this is what I'm saying. Is there are things that you just don't do because they're just not a great idea. Things could go wrong and you're not in control of everything all the time. And it could cost you a lot of money or your life or somebody else's life. So just don't do it. Don't drive after you've had a couple drinks. I don't care if you can. Don't. Don't. Uh, another thing that you should do just in the interest of safety is wear a helmet. I like your head how it is without being cracked open. Yeah. Another thing that you should <laughs> probably never do, and if you do this, stop doing it. Stop doing it. Is when you hug somebody and you pat them on the back when you when you hug them, that's like such an insult to me. That's like an anti hug. You just 
basically tell me, I don't want to be touching you. <laughs> don't do that to people. Why would you do that? It's like an anti-hug. You literally just took the hug that you gave me, took that away, and then made it negative. Don't pat me on the back while you hug me. Other things that people need to stop doing, like awkward conversations that are awkward because you like of the distance between you two. Like depending on how far away I am, if I'm backing up from you, it means one of three things. One of them is that I need to go do something. I need to end the conversation and you're not allowing me to do that so I'm just backing away. If I'm so far that like, you're yelling so I can hear you, stop talking to me. <laughs> I need to do something. I need to go somewhere else or this conversation really just sucks and I really need to get away. Either way, stop talking to me. The other one is maybe you're just in my personal bubble. Maybe you're just in my space and you need to back up a little bit. Like if you're like this close to me, this is awful. Like, look at how far my head is back. I'm like terrified of what of you. Just back up a little. Or the other thing is when you're talking to somebody, and this is a dead giveaway because this is what I always do. If you're really, really close to me and you're talking really intensely about something, especially if you're drunk, you're probably spitting on me. This happens a lot. More than you think it does, probably to you. And so I this is a dead giveaway, is that I'll be sitting or I'll be like, you know, close to you, you'll be talking to me, and my face will be like... And I'll back up. I'll back up because you just spit on me. And this was me wiping off your spit off my face. So stop doing that. If that happens, just back away. Maybe wipe your mouth or swallow your spit. And so, I guess, I guess it's really all that I can think of right now, but if you, you know, I'm probably, I'm probably going to be doing this more because I told you I'm going to be really bored, so if you want to like tell me things that you, you know, don't like that people do and they need to stop doing, you know, write it, write it in the comments or maybe, you know, subscribe to my channel or like my Facebook and stuff. I got cooler videos on this channel than this video. There's like pooping videos and music, and there's going to be more music coming up, so this isn't all this is. Okay, so goodbye.